guys, welcome back to the Little Piece of Heaven Farm. And today, we're going to be canning up crab soup. It's very simple, um, not really hard to do. Um, I'm originally from Maryland, and we make what we call Maryland crab soup with the blue crabs. You can use the Dungeness crabs if you're on the West Coast. Um, up in Alaska, those big, scary-looking, spider-type-of-looking look, crabs, you can use those. Uh, any crab meat that you can uh, eat, like the, the king crab legs and stuff like that, you can still use that. Um, you make your soup the way you want to make it. Um, today, I'm using the blue crab meat that um, I bought from our seafood department at the grocery store I work at. Um, they come in like little eight ounce um, little jars. So I bought some of that and we're going to make crab soup in quart jars today. And there's not really a recipe out there. This is just a disclaimer. It's more like kind of like a rebel, rebel canning because there's not really a recipe for canning crab soup. You can crab, uh, can crab in pint jars, but there's nothing for that I found in my books or online, the USDA, any of that stuff um, for crab soup. So we're going to be canning it for 105 minutes for a quart. So let's get into this and uh, have something else different on our shelves this year. And it's pretty good stuff. It's more like a vegetable with crab meat. Okay, guys, this is the crab meat that I was talking to you about. Let's see, we did focus. Yeah. And I bought three of these. So they're eight ounce packages. So we're using, um, what, a pound and a half of crab meat. So, yeah, this is what we're using. And I'm using two 16-ounce packages of mixed vegetables. And I'm using some of our, rest of our celery. Uh, four cups of beef broth, which I'm using better than bouillon. Old Bay seasoning, you have to have this. Um, I'm using a quart jar of our diced tomatoes that we did. I also bought a can of um, roasted diced, and I'm using a can of tomato sauce I bought. And this can is 29 ounces. So we're going to be doing that and then we're going to add water. I'm using the liquid that's in the diced tomatoes and in our diced tomatoes that we canned. And then I'm, I'm going to top it off with water, which probably be maybe about two or three cups. So let's get into this, okay? All right. First off, what we're going to do is put in our broth. And then we're going to put in our tomatoes. And we got to let this is all going to be hot packed, guys. So um, the jars are going to be hot, and the contents is going to be hot. Oh, these smells smell really good. Hmm. So it's the whole can. I thought I bought two cans, but I guess I didn't. So we're going to open up our jars. Thank you. 
and our tomato sauce. like a vegetable soup more or less uh, with crab meat and if you guys ever had Maryland crab soup it's <laughs> it's so delicious but uh, yeah I'm originally from Maryland and I moved out here in 98, 1998, um, to Oregon. And, uh, yeah, and I've been here since. Anyway, we got that in, and if we're going to add our vegetables. And I'm just going to put in some of our celery. Well, let's just put it all in because it wasn't that much. So, let me get a big spoon. And I'm going to put it in two tablespoons of Old Bay. And I'm not going to add any salt, guys, because Old Bay does have salt. And the Better Than Bouillon also has some salt in it. So, um, we're not going to add any salt. And we're going to bring this up to a simmer. And I'll bring you back when it heats up at a simmer. And um, we'll go from there. If we need to add any more seasoning, I'll probably have to add some thyme and some maybe some bay leaves in there. And because uh, our crab meat goes last. So... Bear with me, and I'll bring you back when it's almost ready. Hey guys, I put in off camera already some onions, um, diced up, maybe about a cup, cup of onions, and I'm all out of bay leaves, but I'm gonna put in a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. Maybe about a tablespoon. So let this simmer for about 15 more minutes and I'll bring you back. For okay guys, we're going to put our crab meat in. up for a bit and then we're going to start putting it in our jars. Okay. 
Okay guys, we're gonna get our first jars out and we're gonna start canning. I hope you guys really like the soup. I mean, it's, it's basic a vegetable soup with crab meat. So, like, if you put in, like, maybe like a beef vegetable soup, you know, instead of putting beef in, you put in your crab meat or chicken, and vice versa. So, yeah, let's get into this and get it going. Smells so so good. Of course, I'm making a mess all over the stove. It's not my forte. <laughs> and remember, when you're doing a big pot, go deep down into the pot and bring it up your ladle. And we're filling it up to an inch headspace. And we're going to be using, ooh, that's kind of hot. We're going to be using regular canning lids today. Get a couple more jars. Hopefully this will make seven pints. And if you guys have never used this Old Bay seasoning, as you young folks say, it's the bomb. It makes everything taste better. Yeah. It's really good stuff. You can use it on chicken, seafood, meat. It's just all around a great seasoning. And it originated in Maryland. And, uh, yeah, it's like a staple in everybody's house in Maryland. Really. <laughs> and when I first came to Oregon, they never carried it. So, bless her heart, my mother would send me a care package every few months, and there was always a small jar of Old Bay seasoning in there, so I would have it. And then finally, you know, I found it online, and buying it online, and told her she didn't need to send me any, and... <laughs> It was super cute that she would send me my Old Bay seasoning. Woo! These jars are nice and toasty. I'm kind of liking this gas oven. I mean, it is a learning curve all over again to 
can on gas. But uh, yeah, I'm really loving it. So this will fill up this jar. Okay, with this I'm going to add, I don't know if you can see it. hot water to it. That's good for me. Okay, I don't know if I told you, but we're canning with regular canning loads today. And we're going to debubble, even though it's soup and it's a lot, a lot of liquid, we still, what? Debubble. It's important. And I'm cleaning off the rims with vinegar. Let me get let me get my jar lifter. Come into the camera, you guys are going. And I have been heating up the pressure cooker while we're doing this, so it's nice and pipey hot. I hope you guys try this. And I know a lot of you are going to ask, why aren't we cooking this just for 90 minutes? Well, it's not like uh, pork or hamburger meat. It's seafood. It's a crustacean. So, uh, in the, the different canning books, they have to go for a longer time, is what they've tested. And like I said, this, is, this hasn't been tested that I know of, that I couldn't even find any information on it. So, It's a quart, and you normally pints are 80 minutes for just crab meat. But we're making it into a soup, and it's quart version, so I'm going to 105 minutes. Yeah, it's going to probably overcook a little bit, but I'd rather be safe than sorry, I guess. And... So, I mean, it's up to you if you guys want to do this. I'm a little bit of a rebel. Um, reason why I put it in a disclaimer, it's because it hasn't been, that I know, have been tested. And it's up to you guys if you want to make it. 
Um, I'm not telling you to do so. But uh, it's just something different on your shelf. And some of your you long time canners, you know where I'm coming from. And uh, even some of you rebel can canners out there. But like some of you new guys, it, for me to tell you to just use uh, a canning book, that's not me. But uh, I would want you to do your research first before you can something like this. I, just, I don't want you to jump overboard, <laughs> so to speak, and do this unless you feel confident. comments below let me know if you plan on trying this or you know or you can just make it and have it that night and then maybe freeze it if you want to um, do it that way hey I have I don't say either way if you want, if you feel safe of just freezing it, go for it. It's, you know, you're still preserving, even if you're freezing it. So, it, it's all up on you guys. But this is what I'm doing, and I'm not saying you need to do it whatsoever. But it is pretty good, and... Like I said, if you want to freeze it, go for it, man. Freeze it, put it in little bags, and and freeze it. You know, a lot of times, it's what I do when I'm trying out new recipes or something. You know, make it and freeze it, and you know. Do research on how to can things or and stuff like that. You can even take classes. Um, some of your extension extension offices have uh, canning classes. They're good to take. And uh, a lot of my canning was self-taught over the years but uh, my mother can for a little bit and then um, I have some friends that canned a lot and with their grandparents and uh, grandmothers and, and moms and I asked a lot of questions and they taught me a lot over the years and you know, I've been canning, I don't know, 20 years, 20 plus years, really. So, you know, yeah. I mean, my way is not always the right way. So I'm just giving you that information. But anyway, guys, we're going to get the lid on this. We're going to process it for 105 minutes, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, guys, here's our soup. They just came out of the canner, so they're all nice and bubbly. They're looking really good. Well, anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out with me today while you make Maryland crab soup and can it. And I appreciate all the new subscribers. We're growing by the minute, which is pretty cool. Well, thanks for hanging out with me, and y'all have a great day. Bye now.